Seasons, greetings, earthlings. I am here today with the winter 2022 culture fly boxes. I have the office, Supernatural, and Friends, and I can't wait to open them. Why don't we start with the office? Look how cute this box is. It looks like the box that um, obviously Dunder Mifflin paper would come in. On this side, it says Happy Holidays from Dunder Mifflin. And then we have some broken bulbs. Oh, wait, this is upside down. Whoops. Okay, the first thing I see is a shirt, but before we do that, look at the inside of the box. How cool is that? Yankee Swap. Okay, I wanna pull out the shirt first. Maybe it's a sweater. Oh, it's a long sleeve shirt. <gasps> it's, it's a Dwight kicking down the Christmas tree. And it's got the, uh, the broken ornaments down the sleeves. Let's see what's next. Oh, this is super packaged. Let me try and rip this open. This says it's a snow globe. That must be why it's extra packaged up. I think this is, is a glass? I think so. In the end, the greatest snowball of all isn't a snowball at all. It's fear. It's all the little snow people that Dwight had put in the parking lot. The freak out gym. Oh, that is, that's really cool. I love that it came with the snow globe. We have another really big box in here. This is interesting. It says stackable mugs set of two. These are actually adorable. I think that these are a play off the little teapot that he had gotten her. Because if you see, it's got his high school picture and the hot sauce and all the stuff that he had put in there for her. And can we also talk about how important it is that these are stackable? I mean, that's clearly the best way to keep them in your cabinet. Because I definitely struggle with that. Okay, looks like we have a scarf. A Dunder Mifflin paper scarf. That's cool, you know, for these frigid Florida winters. And I think we have a pair of socks. Elf Dwight, they're nice and fuzzy. I will actually definitely wear these because I do get really cold in the house at night. We have a set of holiday button pins. This one is all about the Yankee Swap and the stuff that they had bought for each other. And of course, that very sad tree. A keychain. Oscar's Secret Santa Keychain. I am Irish, so. Let's read the card and see what was in here. We have the Dunder Mifflin Knit Scarf, the Happy Holidays Long Sleeve Tee, Oscar's Secret Keychain, Secret Santa Keychain, Jim and Pam Stackable Mugs, Elf Dwight Cozy Socks, Fierce Snowball Snow Globe, and the Holiday Pins Button Pin Set. Overall, I think this office box was a success. I will be honest, I did try to cancel my office and friends boxes, but every time I went on the mobile site, like it glitched and it wouldn't let me do it. Um, and then before I knew it, <laughs> I've been charged for them. So here's the winner boxes. Let's move on to friends. They've upped their game on what the boxes actually look like. They were just plain black color block, but here they actually have some um, little graphics. Very generic friends, central perk. Oh, styrofoam in my hair. We got another snow globe. I, I love this. I feel like they're really putting in like extra effort this season. I'm not going to go through the process of opening this one, but it's, I mean, it's an ugly snow globe. It's the holiday armadillo, but as a, you know, a friend's fan, I can appreciate it. Ooh, we did get a sweater. Sweet. Oh, I actually really like this one. I love the design. And look at the gingerbread men on the bottom. It has all the other names on it. This is really cute. This, okay. So far, this is my favorite thing in the two boxes I've opened. I really like this. And their sweaters 
are really soft and comfortable. I've been wearing um, the one I got in the office box last year. You know what? You can you can go back through my videos and go find it. I'll, I don't feel like it. Um, okay, we have, just drop the sweater. Some silicone, oh, they're candy molds. Can't say I'll be using these for candy. How do you even make candy? I don't know. Monica knows how to make candy and it, you know, she does a really good job. But these are kind of cute. Is this a scarf? No, this is a bag. What kind of bag is this? Here's to a lousy Christmas and a crappy new year. That's the spirit, right? What exactly is this? It's just this really big, lightweight pouch. It's a pillowcase. Oh. Okay. The size of the zipper, I think, threw me off. Or maybe it's the fact that it's black and it kind of stands out. All right. It's not very soft either. I have a... No, we have two. Two little tote bags. Okay, we have a Thanksgiving episode picture. But, you know, it's... It's a good scene, you know. Chandler loves Monica. And, um, Harmaday, Harmaday Armadillo. Holiday Armadillo. I can't remember. Was it Phoebe that showed up as Supergirl or was it Joey that showed up as Superman? I don't remember. No, I think it was Joey showed up as Superman, right? I think we have two more things in here. This is a decoration. We have a garland. It looks like they're all cute little stockings. Paper stockings and wrapping paper. I've actually gotten a handful of different wrapping papers from these boxes over the years and I'll admit I've never used them, but I really should. Like, I don't know what I'm saving them for. But again, just like generic friends, holiday graphics. All right, let's read the little doodad. I'm surprised there weren't any pins in here. There's always pins. Um, so we have the sweatshirt, my favorite. Whoa. In the picture, it's black, right? That's totally black, but I like that it's a dark green color instead. Um, the treat totes is what they're called. Okay, I like that. Candy mold, wrapping paper, pillowcase, a holiday armadillo snow globe, and the garland. So that's what it looks like. Each of the stocking has um, their names on it. So that's that's cute. On to my favorite box, the Supernatural box. This is like my favorite. I usually save the Supernatural one for last, one, because it's my favorite, and two, because I feel like there's, there's more Office and Friends fans out there than there are Supernatural fans. So. But this, this is for me. Okay. photo album but you know what I'm not mad about this because the conventions that I've gone to this year I did print out all the pictures and um, this is actually a perfect place to store them so I will definitely do that and the little Little picture that they have in the front is from their little Inception episode where there was a play about Supernatural. So, this is interesting. Another scarf. We have a baby and the anti possession symbol, and it says, The Road So Far. So, we've got two scarves. Oh man. Okay, we didn't get a sweater or a long sleeve shirt, but we did get a hoodie. I'm not a big fan of zip up hoodies, um, but this is Supernatural, so. It says Supernatural, the musical. Okay. 
This is what the back looks like. So these are at least two things that are inspired by that musical episode. Will brotherly love triumph over the dark powers of evil? What is this? A little ghosty doodad. What's it for? Is it just the keychain? Because this looks like something you could hang from your uh, your ruby mirror. This is probably based off like a prop from the musical or something. I will admit, the majority of Supernatural episodes I've only seen once. Seasons one through three, I've seen all those episodes repeatedly. Four, five, six, maybe into seven. I've seen those episodes at least twice. But around eight through 15, so the whole second half of the series, I've only seen once. And I'll be honest, it's just daunting. 15 years worth of 45 minute long episodes. It's worth it, but it's daunting. Okay, we have a cer ceramic can mug with silicone cover. It looks like it has the guys on it. And again, it's the very generic outline of the guys that are the same exact pictures of the cardboard cutouts that I have. Oh, Sam and Dean are in my closet now, by the way. I just kept out Cass. Okay, so it's like a like a beer can, kind of. This is very interesting. I cannot say I've ever seen anything like this. Um, Supernatural the Musical. All right. I mean, it makes sense that they would have this box based off of a fan favorite episode because I think last year's winner box was all Scooby Natural. That episode is one that I've seen repeatedly because it is iconic. Um, yeah, inspired by the works of Carver Edlund. St. Alfonso's Academy Drama Club presents. Tickets only $7. And then it has um, just generic supernatural little graphics. And then the guys. This is so odd. So odd. Like, who would... I've just never seen anything like this. Interesting. Put a little straw on it, I guess. Unboxing all this stuff, I make such a big mess. We have popcorn tubs. And again, eat popcorn while you watch the show. The musical, I mean, not supernatural. And we got the guys. Devil trap. Just a little plastic popcorn holder. Um, I think we have one more thing in here. It looks like little turkeys. Paper craft figures. So I think you have to put them together. All right, let's see what this card has to say. Okay, we have the zip-up hoodie, can mug with lid, photo album, ghost microfiber cloth. Okay, so I guess this is to like clean your sunglasses. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Like, especially since it's a keychain, you know, hang it on my purse and then like clean my sunglasses. Um, popcorn tub, the knit scarf, and then this, oh, cool, there's Crowley too. Crowley, Cass, Sam, and Dean. That's what those little guys look like when you put them all together. Those are interesting. Like, I kind of like that there's something interactive. And you know what? Each one of these boxes had something paper crafty as well. Like the garland from the friends box. And the, uh... <laughs> Was it the office box? How did I already forget? I don't know. 
Like, I'm not disappointed in this. It's just not my favorite style. Story time. All right, so I wanna say it was possibly the summer box, maybe the spring box. I had gotten a Supernatural Windbreaker in the Supernatural box. And it had like the mark of cane on it. And it was, you know, it was very useful because in Florida it rains a lot. And I usually use hooded windbreaker type doodads as raincoats. Like I have one in my purse, one in my car, etc. Um, in July, I went to a new kids on the block concert. And it was gonna rain. So I took a raincoat with me. I took my supernatural windbreaker because I had just dyed my hair the week before and I didn't want to get wet waiting outside and then have black hair dye everywhere. And again, who wants frizzy hair? And um so at the end of the show, we were getting ready to leave, and I was walking away, and I was carrying my supernatural windbreaker with me, and then Donnie Wahlberg from the New Kids on the Block stopped us and pulled my husband and I up on stage, and I dropped my supernatural windbreaker on the edge of the stage, because, you know, Donnie Wahlberg was pulling me up there, and I wasn't going to bring my supernatural windbreaker up on stage with me in front of thousands of screaming fans, and um, luckily I had a, I met a friend there, and the woman who was sitting next to me, she... She saved my jacket for me, and then she mailed it back to me. So, my Supernatural Windbreaker has had one heck of a life. Okay, well that is the end of this very low energy Culture Fly Winter 2022 unboxing video. Um, I haven't decided if I really do want to cancel the Friends or Office boxes yet. The I feel like they stepped up their game this this round and um I feel like that's usually what happens I think about canceling them and then they like really wow me with stuff but it just comes to a lot of money after a while <sighs> okay thanks for watching um happy holidays and please subscribe you know as your Christmas present to me that would be so great. I would love that so much. Okay, thanks. Bye.